girls we're going to show you how to strip down a service device what you've used during the course we're going to ring, uh, use a range of different tools and techniques and hopefully we can service the device so it's in serviceable order we lubricate and then we fix it back to the table firstly we start by examining the device we have taken it off the workbench so it's easier to work with we're going to make sure that test the device to see if it's working that it's moving freely if it doesn't we need to clean it up so probably we need to file some of the straight edges to remove any burrs therefore the vice will come apart first job we're going to do we're going to tip it upside down so we can access some of the bolts underneath and just looking at this vice wherever it stripped down the surface it previously have used different size nuts and bolts we we'll start off we'll remove the square headed nut and then we we'll use the socket and ratchet to remove the other side all this area here is part of the quick release mechanism so if you can see as I operate the lever the block lifts up out of the special thread which is called a buttress thread and therefore it allows the vice to move freely we're going to use an allen key now To loosen the front make sure you place all the nuts and bolts in one place you know where they are and then you'll remove the quick release me mechanism and the buttress thread be careful the spring is in tension it could jam your fingers if you don't want to handle it properly so, the spring. so we've got the quick release mechanism if you look at the specialized thread there and we've got the saddle that lifts the block in and out this is where you must be really careful if you let this go quickly the spring won't catch you again place all parts to one side so you can see them and then you'll, you'll know exactly how they go back together turn the vice back onto its base remember the, there's a washer fitting inside there which will fit on the end of this shaft when we reassemble it if you like to just notice the different shape on this thread it's very sharp on one side and it's tapered on the other therefore that allows this block to slide and to lock back to the main part of the vise we're now going to slide it out Of the jaws. 